because this is part two of communicable diseases lesson objective a um so we've already done part one that was looking at what is a pathogen what is health and the types of transmission we're now looking at these particular different um diseases and how they are caused we need to know a couple of things about them we need to know the name of the organism that actually causes the disease <coughs> the type of transmission of the disease and also the areas of the world most likely to be impacted by that disease so um first one is tb this is spread by the bacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis this the bits in underlined are these from the mat schemes um, so it's well worth paying attention to these bits and pieces they're spread through droplets of water in the air through sneezing and coughing then inhaled by an uninfected individual. Now, these are most, TB's most common in places that are overcrowded, poor ventilation, people have a poor diet or malnutrition, or homelessness, or they um, eating milk or meat from infected cattle as well, and it's spread through indirect contact. Bacterial meningitis, obviously bacterial, uh, this really, this causes a fever, cold uh, hand and feet, severe muscle pain, distinctive rash and severe headache, with these guys, you don't actually need to know the symptoms. The main thing is you need to know if it's a bacteria, a virus, fungi, or protocyst, or you need to know how it's spread. So this is a bacteria, and it's spread through touch, direct transmission. Ring rot. So this, um, as you can see in the diagram there, it's a vascular ring of tubers, and they ooze uh, from the from the ring. It's not very pleasant. Pleasant. It's transmitted through insects. It's indirect transmission. HIV and AIDS, so you need to know what they stand for, human immunodeficiency virus and autoimmune deficiency. These guys uh, target the T helper cells, which we're going to look at shortly in the immune response. And these help fight infection. The opportunistic infections will eventually kill the person. So you'll see on death certificates, no one actually has HIV or AIDS. On the death certificate, it's normally something like a cold that actually causes the person to die in the end because they have, they have the inability to fight off basic or simple as some people might call them infections. Influenza or the flu, this is viral. Um, this is caused by the spread of a virus through the air, coughs and sneezes and touching and contaminated surfaces. It's direct and indirect transmission. You have the tobacco mosaic virus. Uh, this is an RNA virus and it's transmitted through different leaves, different leaves of different plants rubbing together. So direct transmission. Um, Malaria, this is one I mentioned before. So this is a eukaryotic organism called Plasmodium. It's a protocyster and it's spread by the vector, the female Anaphilis mosquito. It's actually carried in her salivary glands because the mosquito feeds on the human by biting them and it's, the Plasmodium stays in her salivary gland. So as she bites the next person, it goes into that the next person, into the next human's bloodstream. It infects the hepatocytes, which are liver cells, and um, are the erythrocytes causing disruptions to the blood flow to vital organs. <laughs> We've also got potato tomato blight. And this is caused by the protocyster. It's transferred through water or rain at indirect transmission. We've got ringworm in cattle. It's caused by a fungus and it's spread from cattle to cattle through direct contact. You can see it in the image there. And athlete's foot, we've already mentioned, is a fungi. Um, and this is spread through direct contact or, or indirect through towels and shoes and floors as well. And like I said, that's the, an image there. You can see the, the, the spores, which is why it's so itchy and irritating. The, the spores, the hyphae try and get to the surface of the skin to release the spores, which is why it gets irritated and red. Black cigatoga, this is on banana plants. And this is again a fungus spread through the spores carried by the wind and the water. So this is indirect. A couple of exam questions here if you wish to have a go. Um, I'll leave them on the screen to have a go, flick through, and the mark schemes do follow on from that. So we've had a look at these different uh, organisms. You do need to know which organism um, causes which disease. Very popular on multiple choice questions on OCR papers. So just make sure you learn, for example, bacteria, Bacterial infections are TB, bacterial meningitis and ring rot, for example, and also the other ones you need to know. Very, very popular on multiple choice questions. Guys, good luck with your papers. Remember, don't use the word amount, size, they are it. And good luck.